if you are a wrestling fan, no. If you claim you're a wrestling fan and you are not watching Lucha Underground, you are not a wrestling fan. Now, you got to say that with a grain of salt because I grew up watching only WWE. Well, and occasionally WCW. I will always have loyalty to the WWE regardless if it's good, bad, or shitty because of the time when I was a kid and the Attitude Era brought me into it. Now, unlike any other forms of media or I grew up watching ESPN and I grew out of it, I grew out of wrestling, but I eventually came back because my love for it was still there. My love for professional wrestling went through the fucking roof. I stopped the episode of Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 1, 15 minutes into it to make this video. This season, I did something very weird. If you watch a show on sci-fi called Z Nation, I first watched it last year on Netflix, and I binged the whole season and fell in love with it. I was waiting for Season 2 to come on TV so much. I was tweeting them a lot. And when it finally came on TV, I said, you know what? I'm not going to read any spoilers. I'm going to let it build up on the DVR. I'm not going to watch it. Well, I said I was going to do the same thing with Lucha Underground this season. Uh, we just recorded our new podcast, which will be coming out very soon, uh, Beyond the Crate with Russell Crates. And we talked about Lucha Underground and how I was going to hold off and let the full season build out. And then I was going to watch it. But I, I, I can't. I, I physically cannot. You know, for the first time in history of wrestling spoilers, I've seen people go out of their way. And people go out of their way to read spoilers all the time. But I have never in the history of wrestling seen so many people try to avoid Lucha Underground spoilers. And I don't think people get how awesome this is, right? I can't blame WWE for what they do. They're a national public company that has to tour to make money, that they do all their stuff. They're going to overwork their talents. That's fine. That appeals to a lot of people. A show like Lucha Underground, which when the rumors were it was going to be on Netflix, was perfect. Lucha Underground is a Netflix-type show but about wrestling. It is a show that, yeah, the Attitude Era was your favorite moment of all time, right? It, let's be honest. Your favorite era was probably the Attitude Era. If you say, oh, DX was awesome, and you try to go back and show somebody, you show somebody a clip and they're like, Vince loves cocks. And they're like, well, that's immature as fuck. What the hell does that mean? And then you have to go back and show them where that came from. And you have to try to find in that episode 10 episodes back. And it's so hard to... To comprehend. If you're not a wrestling fan, you're not going to go back and watch that stuff. Lucha Underground built as a season from start to finish. You don't have to worry about pushes. You don't have to worry about politics. Okay, maybe you do backstage, but uh, for the season the, overall. But for the most part, they show up, they film for a month. It's a season, and then it's done. You don't have to worry about a guy not getting a push. You don't have to worry about a guy accidentally leaving early Tyler Breeze style and getting heat over it. You don't have to worry about pissing off Vince. You don't have to worry about... It is wrestling, and it is a wrestling show. The show debuted this season to 109,000 people, and the second episode got 125,000 people. And I am pleading with you, if you are a wrestling fan, if you watch the WWE and are constantly pissed at there's no storylines, people aren't getting pushed, people aren't... Stop what you are doing and watch Lucha Underground. Now, if you don't have access to El Rey Network, it's not going to be easy. I get it. El Rey Network, I think, is only in about 40 million homes. Myself, it's in a higher price t uh, TV package, so you may not even have access to it. But if you do, there are other options. I think there's like Fubo TV or something like that where you can watch it legally online. I'm not sure. Um, find a way to watch Lucha Underground. I don't ever promote ways to you know find things. But I'm telling you right now, if you do not have El Rey Network, find a way to watch Lucha Underground. I can, I don't care if you go to YouTube and, and find a clip of somebody reversing it to see it. Watch Lucha Underground. I'm only the opening, and I'm not going to give any spoilers, but the opening was just... Oh, I, I, oh my God. Please. Please watch Lucha Underground. Please send a message. Now, WWE was considering doing a tournament, a season, 10 episodes. Yes, WWE, please. Listen, I love WWE as the rest uh, as much as the next guy. I love the fact that it's live. Anything can happen. The crowd can cheer. The crowd can boo. But when so much has to go into it, from a team of 50 writers not knowing what the fuck they're doing, to a small team... That is focused on building a TV show. 
it is game changing. It absolutely is. You know what you're going to get. You know there's a payoff. You don't have to worry about a guy getting injured because they tape in a certain amount of time and it's a full arc. Please, please watch Lucha Underground. I'm not getting paid for this. I have never talked to Lucha Underground. I have never anything. I, as a fan, in the first 15 minutes, and I watch season one, so it's not like I'm an idiot or I'm just like 15 minutes in and, and like hyping it up to be something. Memoritus is on top of the stage. I, okay, I'm not going to spoil it. If you are a wrestling fan and, and keep complaining and you don't tune into Lucha Underground, I still love you. But please take a break because you watching WWE and constantly being pissed is not doing anything for you. It sucks being mad all the time. It sucks being upset. Moments like The Rock having a speech and making me mark out like a little kid and, and proving why I love the WWE, that anything can happen. But then the very next week having a crap show in episodic seasonal television, you know it's going to be good. You know it's going to be good. Some of my favorite shows with the WWE now are on the network. They're not even the actual WWE product themselves. So I implore you to watch Lucha Underground, but not only that, WWE, please, please make a show like this. Make a show that's not about being live reality television. Make a wrestling show like NXT that has a start, a finish, an end. It's seasonal based. I don't know if it would work. I don't know. People are saying Lucha should tour and do this. No. What Lucha's doing now is fan-fucking-tastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. 